Hi everyone. The original Chanel number no. 22 was named after its release year, 1922. This is the creme de la crop of aldehydes. Uh, one member of Fragrantica once described number 22 as, and I quote, golden, creamy, white, silky, bridal, virginal, sweet, powdery, and glamorous, end of quote. And I think she nailed it. Chanel's original number 22 was created by Ernest Beau. Beau was also the mastermind behind perfume, uh, perfume history's biggest classic ever, numero 5, number 5. Number 22 was reformulated a decade ago in 2007 and it stays true to the original formula. The most notable difference between the old and the new is the absence of incense, which has made the new number 22 even softer and uh, more feminine that it, that it's, uh, or than its predecessor. So the current formula contains a considerable amount of aldehydes, which is present from the very beginning through the heart notes until to the very dry down. Uh, in the top notes, you can also sense a lot, and I mean a lot of lily of the valley, plus, plus some neroli in the top notes. In the heart, you get a uh, beautiful marriage between rose, ilong ilong, and true brose. They're pretty much balanced between the three of them. And in the dry down or, uh, or uh, base notes, you get vanilla and amber. And in my opinion, the aldehydes stay there until the very, very beginning when the softest amber ever takes over. Some say that uh, vetiver is also included in the base notes, but I don't smell it because the flowers and the aldehydes dominate this beautiful fragrance. It's an ultra-feminine, elegant, luxurious scent, which I can imagine very many women have chosen and will choose as their wedding day perfume. If you know what Dove, the brand Dove, what their soaps smell like, especially the gel one in a bottle, you understand what I mean by the aldehydes, creaminess and soapiness. It may strike some people as an elderly fragrance, but I think it's definitely much less elderly without the incense note, which was in the formula uh, before uh, 2007. Personally, I like wearing black leather jackets and I'm somewhat of a tomboy, so I rock other fragrances better than this, but I still spray it on and I truly enjoy its timeless luxurious aldehydic beauty. The projection of number 22 varies from medium to a skin scent, meaning that you can only catch a whiff of it when you're really close to whoever's wearing it, or you can just wear it for your own enjoyment. The longevity of this fragrance is good, I sprayed it on today about seven hours ago here on my wrist. As I told you in my previous video, I recently moved to the Mediterranean. I had a limited amount of baggage I could take on the plane, plus I had a dog. <laughs> so I mainly brought, you know, uh, tiny samples. Uh, but I have a sample of this uh, for as well, luckily. And um, it's been on my skin for about seven hours and I can still smell the slightest notes of amber in the dry down. In fact, the transition from aldehydes and flowers to the soft amber dry down is very smooth, as is everything else about number 22. So, to conclude, if you like 
elegant, rich, creamy, ultra feminine uh, fragrances, which are easy to wear. And I can guarantee you this will never offend anybody. This one, numero 22, <laughs> may be very well for you. It's basically the mother of modern aldehyde fragrances. So, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching. Check out the link in the description. There's the direct link to this uh, fragrance. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to get more perfume reviews like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.